Okay, do me a favor really quickly. What's your name? Nishay, Anna Zanassi, A-C-H-E-A, operator number one, two, three. Okay, Nishay, and just to clarify, you're indicating that you mailed out a letter for a uh, waiver on what date? The 29th of December. Okay, and so I'm calling in because I never received that, and you're telling me that you will mail out another one. However, it does not matter because I have a certain due date, which is what? No. What I stated is I will mail out another one. However, your time frame will not be extended. The time frame still remains from when you initially requested it, and your due date to have that information back in our office will be the 13th of January. Okay, so, Michelle, let me ask you a question. In your personal experience, has something ever been lost in the mail? Of course, in which we do not take responsibility for. We are not the post office. We can only okay. take responsibility to where we mail it. So if you mail it and the post office loses it, is that my responsibility and should I be penalized for that? You could have easily downloaded it from the Internet, sir. Well, first of, all, you, first of all, you're the first person telling me about a form on the Internet. Secondly, you're assuming that somebody has access to the Internet. Okay, so which the Parking Violations Bureau, that's not a prerequisite to have. Okay, the mail is the standard practice of doing business. So I'm asking you a question. If the post office has lost something, is it my responsibility and should I be penalized? The Parking Violation Bureau starts to hold you responsible, correct, yes. And what is to show uh, who within the Parking Violations Bureau sent this letter? Or do, or is it just uh, operator an assumption? Number 004. So operator 004 hand mailed this letter? No, she did not hand mail the letter. Okay, so is it possible that it could have been a, uh, is your mailing done automatically? Is there an automated system that drafts letters and mails them? No, sir. So it's somebody by hand doing it? No, sir. What happened is when you called on the 28th of December, she sent the letter out to you through the computer to the address in which you verified for her to mail it to. Okay, so it's a computerized process that uh, from the time she indicates that she's sending a letter, there's a computerized process that prints this letter and puts it in an envelope, puts a marking on it, and uh, shoves it off for delivery or pickup by the post office, correct? Well, not put it in an envelope, sir. That is hand, hand done by... Uh actual person. And in your experience, can I ask you, has it ever happened that there was an error on the Parking Violations Bureau, whether it was an equipment problem or the person that does an envelope could have dropped something? Is that possible? Anything's possible, sir. However, we would have saw it in our system as a uh, Parking Violations Bureau error. So, so, you've never, so you guys have never had an error that wasn't recorded in your system as an error? So if the guy that's that was putting undetected, correct. So you've never in the history of the violations of bureau you have a hundred percent accuracy on catching errors. Sir, I can only speak from what I've been working here. Interesting. So if the post office made a mistake or you guys made a mistake, it doesn't matter, it's my fault, is the bottom line. If the parking violation bureau made a mistake then, of course, we would take responsibility for well, that. Well, you're I assuming that you I catch... I, I take sir, that back. I'm sorry. I did not interrupt you. I, I, no, I'm sorry, because I didn't answer the, ask you the right question. If the Parking Violations Bureau made an undetected mistake, or the post office made a mistake, then I am being held accountable for that. The time frame would not be extended, sir. Just answer my question, please. If the post office or the Parking Violations Bureau made an undetected mistake, I am being held accountable. You're being held accountable from the time frame in which you requested the letter to be sent to you. So the bottom line is if the post office made a mistake or the parking violations bureau made an undetected mistake, I'm responsible for it. If the post office made a mistake, sir, it sounds like that's something that you need to further dispute with them. And if you guys made a mistake that you didn't detect, then I'm responsible for it. If we made a mistake, sir, it would have been detected. Well, but if it wasn't detected, am I responsible Sir, for that? I'm not here to become combative with I'm you. Not, I'm, I'm not being combative. I'm asking you a very simple... You. I'm asking you a very would simple... Would you like for me to mail you out that letter, sir? Well, obviously, I, yes, I would. But I'm asking you a very simple question. Nobody... And what address would you like that mail to? The sir? same... Four Street? Yes. Now, is I'm, that correct? Yes. And I, I'm sorry, but I, I, I'd like to finish this. A very simple question. All you have to do is answer yes or no. It's a simple question. I'm it's trying not to understand. A yes or no question, well, sir. it is. If you guys made a mistake and you didn't catch it, because I don't know of an industry in the world that makes a, the, the space shuttle blew up because they didn't catch a tile that fell off. And that's an industry that makes a lot more money than you guys. So if you guys made an error and somehow didn't catch it, bottom line is you're saying I'm responsible for that because you guys didn't catch the error. Is that not correct? No, that's not what I stated. 
So, it, so what happens if you guys made an error and you didn't catch that error? What happens then? That's what I'm saying, sir. Each error that is made on the parking violation bill is detected. But, ma'am, assume that you don't have a hundred percent. I am not going to assume. So you're sir, telling me the parking violations the bureau never makes a mistake. Every mistake no, is detected. But sir. if every mistake is one hundred percent detected, that's not what I, stated, I understand. Sir. But if every mistake is one hundred percent detected and then rectified, then you guys never make a mistake. I'm speaking from the time frame that I've worked here. I cannot speak for the whole bureau. I have not been working here since the bureau opened. How long have you been with the bureau? That is private, sir. Okay, so, I mean, assuming you didn't join yesterday. So you're saying in the hundreds of thousands of letters and mailings that go into the Bureau, you have never made a mistake that wasn't caught. Ever. Sir, again, how can I answer that, that question if I have not been here since the Bureau opened? That's fine, but I said since the time you've been there. You clearly said that from since the time you've been there, that unless it was yesterday, you are aware of 100% fact that every error done on behalf of the Parking Violations Bureau was detected and rectified. That was your correct. statement. That's what I, correct. That's what I am aware of. Correct. Very interesting. So technically, the 100 Parking Violations Bureau is the most accurate industry in the face of uh, the entire world because every mistake is caught that's not and what it's I stated. But if every mistake is caught and it's every mistake that's caught is fixed, then you have 100% accuracy. Again, that's not what I stated. I didn't state every mistake was so, I so say this since I've been okay, there. so it's but so whatever time you've so been you're there. Assuming, sir. Again, sir, I can mail you off a payment. <laughs> it's it's so you funny. Now a moment ago, since you've been there, so since you've been at the parking violations bureau, there has never been an undetected mistake. So unless that you, I'm aware of, correct. Then, okay, that you're aware of. So it is possible that the parking violations bureau did make a mistake. I'm just trying to get a simple point, which according to you doesn't make a difference anyway. So just indulge me for a second. Since you've been there, one that you, fine, but since if there's never been a mistake since you, that you are aware of now that you say since you've been there, if a mistake did happen that you are unaware of, and I'm letting you know there is a mistake, it's still my fault, and I'm the one who has to deal with it because you guys are still sticking to your deadline. I'm going to mail you off this. Is, is that in, is that, sir, I'm not going to put it in your words. It's not my words. I'm asking you a question it. because listen, you don't answer the very simple you, question. You ask the same question over and because over. Because you keep giving me a different answer. answer. You keep giving no, me sir, a different answer. Not. You First no, of all, sir, you I said every single thing. Now you changed and said since you're aware of. Obviously, since no, you're aware of. So can you admit no, that there's sir. things that you are unaware of? Of course. So it is possible that there was an error. On the parking Anything violation. Possible, okay, so if that happened, is it still something that I'm going to be held accountable for if it happened? So I'm not going to make an assumption with you that the parking violation. Bureau I'm not asking you. I didn't say, do you think they made a mistake? I'm asking you a question. Sir, if a mistake again, happened based on your if you system. Would like to be combative, you need to I'm just trying to get a else. simple. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to ask you a simple now, question. Would you like for me to mail it to I already address. answered you the question. I already verified that address what and I already Nexus, said yes. California yes. 91306. That is fine. I already confirmed okay. that. I'm just so trying to understand and, one simple thing. That's it. That's I will it. go ahead and mail that letter out to you. Can sir. you please just answer my question? Sir. And again, I'm not going to be combative with I you. I am not trying to be combative. I'm trying to yes, have you. you are, sir. Okay, so can you're I. Going back and forth. So can I ask you one question, question until okay. you receive the answer you would like? No, I don't need an answer I would like. I'm asking you based on your procedures, not your opinion, not your guess. I'm asking you a very basic question. Based on the procedures of the Parking Violations Bureau, if a mistake happened that was undetected and nobody is aware of it, am I still responsible or the customer or somebody else still responsible? If there's a mistake... Unless it, you can prove that it was an error on the parking violation. Okay, and how would I be able to do that? If the post office says they never got anything from you, which there's no way to tell that because there's no certification. But let's say somebody says, we never got it. How would I prove that? Can I come into your office and check your files? No, sir. So technically, there's no way for me to prove it, and it's always somebody else's fault, never the Parking Violations Bureau. Your words, not mine. <laughs> well, can you explain it a different way? No, sir, I'm not at liberty to explain that to you, sir. What I'm at liberty is doing is mailing out the letter in which I'm doing for you today. Okay, could you transfer me to a supervisor? I can place you on hold to see if one is available. That would be wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One moment, please.